Tunisia's political crisis is deepening as police block access to the headquarters of the Supreme Judicial Council. The move comes a day after President Kais Saeed ordered the council dissolved. We will work on a law or a temporary decree for the Supreme Judicial Council. And this council itself is a thing of the past from this moment on. The council is an independent body set up in 2016 to guarantee the judiciary's independence and oversee their conduct. Said has accused its members of bias and corruption. The head of the Supreme Judicial Council says there's no legal framework to dissolve it and has vowed to continue working. The president has moved to the stage of seizing institutions. What is happening is very dangerous and illegal. The president has been steadily consolidating his power since last July, when he ousted the prime minister and suspended parliament. He's since announced that he can rule by decree and has vowed to rewrite the constitution and put it to a referendum this summer. Critics say, under Saeed, Tunisia is heading down a dangerous path back towards authoritarian rule. However, the president's supporters say his moves are necessary to rid the country of a system they say is corrupt, complaining of a decade of misrule by the Islamist party Inada and others following the Arab Spring uprisings. They point to the slow pace of the investigation into the 2013 assassination of left-wing activist Shokri Belaid as proof. A rally was held on Sunday to mark the ninth anniversary of Belaid's death and to show support for the president.